Black Iwan Sosa. I am the chairman of Shokaye. For now, I am the chairman Shokaye CDA. And I was just at home now, and uh, they brought this for me as palliative for the whole of Shokaye Estate. In this estate, we have 147 houses with families and tenants living there. I'm confused now. I don't know how to share this for 147 households in Shokaya Estate. If you guys, the government, I'm talking to Dakwa Abiodu now. If you people know you cannot do something, don't do it. We are not hungry. We are not beggars. So we don't need your rights as palliative. This is not even one bag. This is not up to an eighth of a bag of rice. Tio ba she she, ema for sarayin la ti she, a han she le bi mi bai. So emi ala ki nkbe rice yik pada, koba me kbe slofu da kwa abyo du, kogbe kpada se o gaye, ti nou mbu to ron, kogbe kwa wan mwa wan, a han she le bi, olo wan da nik she wale le bi. So that is it. We don't need this rice. If you want to give us palliative, don't insult us. This is an insult. Shokaya Estate refused to be insulted. God bless you. Uh, of course, you heard that man correctly. I think he said uh, the estate that he's talking about is located in Ongu State. And uh, of course, if you check that video, the bag of the it's not a bag of rice, it's not a half bag of rice, the quarter bag of rice, of course, is road courtesy of Ongu State. You know, recently, through the palliative uh, elevation uh, program uh, initiated by Tunubu, they said they gave uh, each state some, tra some trucks of uh, rice to share for states. Then I was wondering, five, five trucks, then I was wondering, how was it possible? Why is it possible to share five trucks of rice to a whole state? You know, um, for example, I like to make example. We'll use yourself as an example. Let me say you meet your uncle for assistance. You tell your uncle, uncle, please, I want to pay school fees. Or oh, uncle, there's this business I want to start. Please, can you assist me? And let me say your school fees is about uh, 200,000 Naira. Or that business you want to start is about 5 million Naira. Or let me say 1 million. Or let me say 500,000 Naira for the business. And then your uncle decided to give you 1,000 Naira. You said you needed 200,000, that whatever he can have to assist you. Then the man decided to give you 1,000 Naira. Deep down inside your heart, will you appreciate that 1,000 Naira? Or will you see that 1,000 Naira as an insult? That's exactly the position of this man is. You sent a quarter bag of rice to 149 families. 149 families or so, and each family, there might be minimum of three people in the house. Three persons. Or so we will have up to 10 persons in the house, each family. Tell me, how are they supposed to share that bag of rice? How do you want them to share that quarter bag of rice? I think they should start counting like a five, five grain of rice, five, five grain, and giving it to each family. How is it possible? So you see the reason why I say I do not I do not, I will kick against any palliative. Don't give us rice. Give us good hospitals. Give us good roads. Give us all, all, all other basic amenities. Take your rice back. Take your palliative back. That is my stand though. Whoever feel like you need rice or palliatives, I'm sorry for you. I'm, I'm, so, I'm really sorry for you. If you think you need rice and palliative from the government, or if you are jubilating whenever they say there's a palliative sharing, I'm, I'm sorry for your life and your generation. 
And if you think that is a is a okay at all at all, ah, that is even a, 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 a God. Well, let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, Lagos State demolition. You know, I saw a video. Lagos State demolishing an uh, entire estate in Lagos. You know, Lagosians have been complaining about this uh, erosion, water, and everything. Most especially in Lekki. I've been to Lekki several. I don't stay in Lagos, but I've been to Lekki several. In fact, Lekki in my back of house. And I see how jam pack Lekki's house. It's not as if there's no access for the but you can see the tightness. The tightness, even the the drainage are issues. Well, demolition houses uh, is not a good site. Or I don't ever wish for anybody houses to be demolished. Uh, it's extremely painful. I have my own house as well. I wouldn't want to wake up tomorrow and my house is being demolished. I don't know how I'm going to take it. I don't know how I'm going to react to it. I pray that doesn't happen to any human being. And again, uh, this uh, Lagos State government should be transparent whenever they are going for demolition. If you must demolish, make sure you demolish through a transparent means. You know, I saw a video, sir, the videos of houses being demolished. I almost shed tears because I am also a landlord, like I've said before, I wouldn't want to see my house being demolished. You might be laughing, you know, but see, seriously. And again, there is, uh, everybody is guilty, almost everybody is guilty of this though. You know, whenever you want to buy a land, make sure you go through the normal process and research it very, very, very well. But unfortunately, the institution that we are supposed to research for collect bribes. Collect bribe and yet they will not give you the real information. The real institutions, your civil servants are supposed to give uh, public the necessary information if the lands are right or not, make things difficult for people who are asking information. You know, that is where the problem usually starts. It's crazy. I felt really, really, really down seeing those videos from Lagos recently. But the water just have to find its way out. Again, water have to find their way its way out. So, you know, I understand the Lagos, the Lagos State government, and I also understand the landlords as well. Demolishing the entire estate in Lagos. Just imagine, now they, they say the best place to buy houses, the best place to buy property is estate. Just imagine an estate being demolished. Wow, just imagine your estate being demolished. Hmm? Okay, guys, uh, let's uh, move past that. Let's talk about uh, Root Boy versus Reno or Mockery. You know, Root Boy was uh, at Whiskey, the bomb barrier ceremony yesterday and uh, while he was there he decided to use the opportunity to remind nigeria of some certain stuff he said just a reminder one dollar is now one thousand forty five naira hope some of you are still standing as you can see i stand to the bar the reno decided to educate him well reno said Actually, the Naira is $1,025 to a dollar, not because of the Nigeria economy is. The Naira has never been strong since the Shagari regime in the last 40 years. We have either perched the Naira or artificially sustained its value through government controlled foreign exchange market. The reason the Naira was trading at 150 naira to dollar during our administration and at 550 to to one naira under Buhari presidency is because the naira was being defended by the central bank of nigeria which was artificially pumping dollar into the market to stabilize the naira basically we were giving away our foreign reserve 
Under the current system, the Naira is being floated. That means the market force determines the value of Naira. And it does, and it does at, as it does in America, Europe, and England. This will now allow us to use our foreign reserve to develop rather than to fund importers. Every major presidential candidate except Kwan Kwasu said they would float the Naira. Let us try to be patriotic to reap future gain. If you look at the monthly income going into the Federal Account Allocation Committee since accounts since foreign subsidy was removed and the Naira floated, you will notice it has increased. For example, in July 2022, the, uh, the fact income was 1.9 trillion, the highest ever in our history. To put this in, pro, in perspective, a year ago in August, 22 our total income was 80, 885 billion by July 2023. The Naira has not collapsed to $1,025. Please fact check. Well, he was trying to educate. I honestly I really do not understand what he was trying to say. But he said a lot of things though, like uh, the government is no longer in, in, indirectly supporting the dollar. You know, using our foreign reserve to support dollar to make it look like, oh, the dollar is not falling. You know, but now, Tinubu regime is like, okay, trade any way you like. Left way, buy, sell left way any way you like. I'm going to take this money. I'm not going to pay for subsidy. I'm not going to give any marketer anything. And I will equally support that way. At least now we can focus on the government and say, okay, for the money we will not do the collect since what which one we can do. So that there will not be excuses like, ah, you use it to support the dollar. The other one will be like, ah, you use it to support the foreign. You know, something like that. So guys, thank you very much for watching the boy again. Drink.